Hi, my name is Bill Koza, and I'm here to help the BD5 community uh, by looking at your wings and helping you test your wings after you built them to see if you've got wash out or wash in. So I'm going to take you through a few quick steps to help you determine if these wings are straight. I'm going to get the camera and go off to our plans book and the plans book will help uh, determine how to build the jigs to do this. In the plans book page 313 and 314 shows you some jig diagrams plans to make those jigs and those will be used to uh, basically test your wing to see if there's wash in or wash out. I'll put those jigs on and then we'll start the test. As you can tell I've put those jigs on the wings in the prescribed spots if you look in the first part of chapter 3 I think it's page 311 it gives you very specific instructions on how to do this procedure and what I've done is I have both jigs set up on the wing and I have plumbed level and again the wing doesn't have to be on the airplane to perform this test when you're actually mounting it, there's other procedures on, on doing that, but this is just testing for washout. As you can see from this bubble, this end of the wing is level. If you look on this end, and we'll move the camera in closer, this level has to be on the end, and it is true because I have put in a spacer the plans call for a 0.603 to be acceptable. If it's less than 0.603, you've got an acceptable wing. If it's over that, BD basically pretty much says you need to get rid of the wing and build a new one. So let me uh, stop things and we'll get a little bit closer over there. I think you can see where the bubble is at. It is level at this point and you are to measure where I have the calipers right now is where they tell you to measure and to put a shim and this shim like I said is 0.603 if it's greater than that then the wing has too much twist in it mine has 5.4 or 0.54 so this wing is acceptable this is the way you test your wing for washout good luck with your wings and be safe flying out.